Julia and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a what I ate in a day video during summer. So I'll show you three vegan meals that I ate today during this beautiful summer day. But before we get started, I just want to say if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe because I upload videos like this every single Monday. Now let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Now that it's summer and it's beautiful outside, I switched up my warm coffee for some iced coffee. breakfast I made some banana pancakes. We're gonna start by making oat flour which is really easy you just put a cup of oats into your blender and that's gonna be your flour for the pancakes. I always do that I think it is much healthier. For this recipe you need a cup of oat flour, a cup of non-dairy milk, half a banana, a teaspoon of baking powder, a pinch of cinnamon, a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and also some maple syrup. Start by adding your apple cider vinegar to your non-dairy milk, and that creates kind of a buttermilk, and that's gonna help making a fluffy pancake. I'm also adding the vanilla extract to the buttermilk. Now we're gonna mix everything together into a blender to form the batter. You want to blend it for about 30 seconds. You don't want to blend it too long because you don't want your batter to be too thin. You want it to be on the thicker side. In a pan, add some vegan butter and then you can pour your mixture into the pan. What can I, say? I wanted my pancakes to have a little extra something so I decided to add some chocolate chips to them. When your pancakes are all fluffy and you start to see some bubbles, you'll want to flip them and let them cook until they are golden. I topped my pancakes with some cut up bananas and with some coconut flakes. And are you even Canadian if you don't put a ton of maple syrup onto your pancakes? I don't think so. <laughs> These pancakes are so good and they are perfect for a lazy summer weekend. For lunch, I made some homemade pesto pasta. You need a cup of basil, a cup of spinach, a tablespoon of lemon juice, a tablespoon of olive oil, two tablespoons of nutritional yeast, a pinch of salt, and two cloves of garlic. Now you just want to add everything to a food processor. a few pulses to chop everything and then add your olive oil progressively. You could make this recipe oil free, you would just have to replace your oil with some warm water. As you can see this pesto only took about 5 minutes to make and now it's ready to add to our pasta. So I just cooked some whole wheat spaghetti and now I'm just adding my pesto to it. This is a really easy summer meal that you can put together in under 5 to 10 minutes. I find it so refreshing and it's one of my favorite meal during summer. I just bought a basil plant recently and it has been life changing. I've been making some fresh pesto with it and also some pizza. It was honestly missing from my life. For dinner I just had a really refreshing Buddha bowl. For that you're going to need a block of firm tofu, half a cup of rice, a cup of spinach, some grated carrots, cucumbers, and green peppers. Start by pressing your tofu and then you'll want to cut it into small cubes. Then you'll want to add your tofu to a bowl because we're going to pour some sauce on it to marinate. You want to add a quarter of a cup of soy sauce, two teaspoons of lemon juice, and some sriracha. Let that marinate for about 30 minutes to an hour. Then you want to add your tofu to a pan and cook it for about 15 minutes. Now we're going to make the sauce to drizzle on top of the Buddha bowl. You need 2 tablespoons of soy sauce, 
one tablespoon of rice vinegar, one tablespoon of peanut butter, and some sriracha. Now you're ready to put together your Buddha bowl. Start by adding your rice, followed by all your veggies. Add your tofu and then drizzle the sauce on top. Buddha bowls are one of my favorite way to eat a lot of veggies. I think they are so delicious and perfect for summer. This is a really healthy meal that will keep you full and I really recommend that you try it. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe because I upload every single week. And I'll see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Bye!